lovely day for a walk, eh, Holmes? Yes, just look at our great city bustling with activity. Even the chimney sweeps are hard at work. It's all dirty in here. I don't care. Keep going. Shouldn't I wear some sort of protective suit? Why? Don't you trust me? I do, but our friend Bartholomew went in lots of chimneys in the 80s, and now he's sick. Holmes, there's something I have to tell you. I'm getting married. I deduce, Watson, that you're getting married. I just said that. Yes, but I had deduced it first. That's what happened. So, congratulations. Thank you. I thought you might be upset because we won't be able to solve mysteries. Solve mysteries together. Elementary. Crown jewels stolen. Another one bites the dust, says Queen. And coming up, Russia and Prussia still named basically the same thing. Ghastly. Who would have the audacity to steal the crown off the Queen's head? Only one man, Watson. Professor Moriarty, the Napoleon of crime. I've had him on the run for a year now. His criminal empire is in shambles, but he won't go quietly. I say, look, there's hotshot 20-year-old comedian Benjamin Hill. Oh, that'll be funnier when he's older and slower. Watson, this is the boat to America. How do you know that? Because Neil Diamond is on board. Look! September morn. We danced until the night became a brand new day. I really hoped he'd be singing America. Well, how will we know who Moriarty is? We've never seen him before. The science of deduction. Hold it right there, Professor Moriarty. Sherlock Holmes, how did you know it was me? When I see a man about to go on a sea voyage and not wearing a top coat with no watch fob and whose spats are not fully buttoned... And the jewels hanging out of my hat? Yeah, and the jewels hanging out of your hat. <coughs> He's got a gun! Look out, Stu... Holmes! God, this is gonna be so annoying. Watson, the scepter! <coughs> ah, lucky shot! There was no luck involved. From the angle you were aiming the gun, I extrapolated the path of the bullet and triangulated the deflection point. Uh, is this, is this speech for me? Because he's dead. For the court's amusement, we now present Sir William of Cosby. Well, you see, the children of today are wearing their pantaloons so low, gazoozle, you can see the first three layers of their undergarments, zazzle-foozle. I get away with this for another 122 years, you see. Hello, Your Majesty. I have recovered the crown jewels. Mum, may I say it's been a pleasure serving you, but I've decided to retire. We are losing interest in this conversation. It would be a wonderful cap on my career to have a knighthood. Come, come now, Holmes. You're not... <sighs> Sometimes the bigger ladies take a little longer, you see. Really, Holmes, why retire? There'll still be crimes to solve. But with Moriarty gone, and with you, my biographer, leaving me for marriage, there is little point. Just gonna toss it in the old waste bin. Yep. Goodbye, Detective Cap. Yep. And you, old chap, are about to solve the biggest mystery facing men of our time. The wedding night. I know, I'm just... I'm just giddy with anticipation. Lifting her nightgown, nightshirt... Evening cape, boudoir coverall, torso doily, and the various corsets and trusses below. Exposing her shame to God, followed by brief missionary coitus with no eye contact. And then, five months later, a stillborn child the size of a digestive...